If you're having software issues and internal bugs with your iPad or simply want to give it a fresh start, here I am Jay. In this video, I'll show you four different ways to restart your iPad to access normally again. Learn all four easy ways to restart your iPad. The first method is to restart the iPad using a key combination. This method is applicable to iPads without a home button. Let's follow the on-screen video steps. Press and hold the power button and either volume button until you see the slide to power off on your iPad screen. Now, drag the slider to the right side, and your iPad will be turned off. After that, press and hold the power button at the top until you see the Apple logo and then lock screen. Enter your passcode and start using iPad. For home button iPad, press and hold the power button until you see slide to power off slider appear on the screen. Slide your finger on slider and turn off your iPad. To turn on again, press and hold power button only until you see the Apple logo and your iPad is turned on again. If your iPad is unresponsive and does not respond to the first method, you can use the second method to force restart the iPad. This method uses a combination of volume keys and a side power button. Simply press and quickly release the volume up button, and press and release the volume down button. Then, press and hold the power button at the top until the Apple logo appears. It might take 15 to 20 seconds. Just wait for the Apple logo after black screen. During this process your iPhone will fix the software issue from the root cause. Enter your iPad lock screen passcode and you are done. That's it. But for the home button iPad, press and hold the power button and home button at once until you see the black screen and Apple logo. Your iPad will turn on automatically. If not turning on then press and hold the power button. That is an easy method for the home button. But how we can restart iPad without the button, follow the next method. The third way to restart your iPad is by using assistive touch. To do this, you'll need to enable the touch button on the iPad screen from the settings on your iPad. First, launch the settings app on your iPad and tap on accessibility. Go ahead and tap on touch under the physical and motor section. Then, tap on assistive touch. Make sure the toggle beside assistive touch is on. Now, Touch button is on the screen, as you can see. After that, check the custom actions. As you can see here, there are three options available. Single tap, double tap, and long press. You can see the double tap action is selected as a screenshot. For example, I want to use a long press assistive touch to restart the iPad. As you can see here, the long press still needs to be selected. So, I am tapping on it and finding the restart option. It is right here. Tap on it and set for a long press. Now, return to the previous page and notice that the restart action is selected for long press. Now, go to the home screen and long press on button and you are done. A pop-up may ask you to confirm restarting your iPad. If you select the restart option, your iPad will restart automatically. That's it. The fourth way is to use Siri voice command. Before we start, make sure the Hey Siri is enabled on your iPad. If not done yet, set up Hey Siri command under the settings and enable Hey Siri. Now, activate Siri by pressing and holding the power button or say command like Hey Siri, restart my iPad. Siri will show a pop-up that asks you to confirm the restart action. Tap on the restart option. As you can see, my iPad is restarting now. That's it. Now, share which method you like most and helpful in your case. I hope you like this video. Also don't miss to like, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And comment for more help.